get free ride points, gift cards, and much more. And make sure to use the code MONK to receive an extra 50 points. Right, what's up? What's going on, guys? Captain Monk here, and today's gameplay is some Dread Nova Gangplank in the top lane here, of course. And this is the brand new skin here for Gangplank on the PBE. Let's get ourselves here some items. I'm thinking I don't really want the Dorn's Blade so much as fact. I want the Corruption Potion. And the reason I want Corruption Potion is because as Gangplank in the lane phase, you want that extra sustain so you can fight a little bit. But you're also going to want that extra mana regen so you can use your spells to last hit and stuff like your Q. And you also can trade a bit and not have to worry about your mana as much, so it's a really good way to go. And uh, look at the teams here today, guys. Of course, you guys truly putting that game plank. Also got Ho710 playing as our Shivana in the jungle. Air PBE on that Vigar in the mid lane. Elliot, I think is how you'd say that, but with the Y. Uh, playing as our Vayne AD carry. And last but not least is Savage Senpai PBE playing as our Thresh support. It's looking like we're against the Irelia top lane. The, uh, what is his name? Aurelian Soul. It says right there. I'm not looking at that. Uh, playing as our, or not our, sorry. Their Aurelian Soul jungle. Let's got the Azir. The Twitch and then the Blitzcrank. So, pretty standard team at you, which is quite surprising, but I guess it's because we are playing a ranked game. Right now, in the PBE, they have made it so that there's literally no normals. You have to play either flex ranked or solo duo ranked. And flex ranked, I think, is broken. I don't know why, but I couldn't get into a game and I was waiting in queue for literally a, like almost hours. It was crazy. So, here we are playing a solo duo game. We're playing with Ho710 as he was on the PBE and he's a pretty good player. And I figured he would be a good person to play with. And I saw really in the brush there, so I'm gonna make sure. I keep that in mind and am mindful of that. But while we're still on the gameplay here, guys, I do have something I want to bring up, and that is that I'm doing another giveaway in today's game. So I'm going to pick up the RP card here for you guys. It's a $10 RP card. So if you want to win this, I'll go ahead and listen in the description how it is you can win. But what I will also do is I'll tell you guys here in the video, because I know a lot of people don't really want to read the description as much. I'll go ahead and do some damage to this girl. Ooh, look at that. I think we definitely win that trade. We both went Corruption Potion, but I think I came off with a little bit better percentage of my HP. We both came up with about the same amount total. But she has more HP than I do, so I think I came off doing more damage to her, so that's good. But uh, but yeah, so the first thing you guys got to do is make sure to subscribe. This is a giveaway for my subscribers, so if you're not subscribed, that's the first thing you got to change. The second thing you got to change, yeah, or not change, but the second thing you got to do is like the video. Make sure to do that. It's really, really helpful for the video, and I would really appreciate it. Next thing is add the video to your favorites. To do so, check the uh, below the video where it says add to, and you can click on that, and that will bring up a little menu where you can add it to playlists and one of the playlists is your favorites and go ahead and do that and the last thing guys is comment down below what you believe is my favorite video game of all time now a lot of you are probably thinking to yourselves well how the hell would I know this well this is where it comes in that my older fans who have been with me for a while will have a bit of an edge in this because they probably will know if you've been with me for a while you will know what my favorite video game is as I've mentioned it in videos beforehand so if you aren't familiar with what my favorite video game is of all time uh, go ahead and check out uh, my older videos, some of my Q&As, for example, and you might find what you're looking for. And it looks like Shivana's coming for a gank, but Irelia seems to be playing somewhat passively, so maybe she knows? I'm not sure. Let's go ahead and see if we can line up some of these. Not look like it's going to happen. It's okay. Shiv or not Shivana, but, uh, what's her face? Irelia's been forced out of lane, and like, yeah, it's annoying that we don't get the kill on the gank, but she's still forced out of lane. And actually, it looks like they're fighting. I'm on the way. Like, Shivana's just destroyed this Irelia. Not sure what Irelia's doing, but Azir is actually here now. Let's see, what can we do? The, the, uh... Ooh, Irelia's actually gonna get away, it looks like. Azir's on the run. What can we do? The thing with these barrels is, like, they're pretty strong, but they take forever to proc early game. So you can see it's not really useful at all early game. Unless you set them up somewhere and then they run into them. So you kind of have to be weary of that. But we're up 21 to 8 on Irelia's farm, so we're really, really strong compared to her. I'm going to place one of my barrels here in hopes of setting up a combo actually onto Azir. What? What? My barrel... Oh, see, this is what I'm talking about, man. I'm, I'm so used to the barrels not be taking this long to set up. That's just me being bad, but yeah. Uh, in the past... Oh, shit. She's actually fighting me. All right, well, Shivana's almost here. I get stunned here. There's the slow. I'll go ahead and cleanse that. I knew the slow was going to come out there. And I'm going to just poke her back. Yeah, really awkward early game here, guys. Unfortunately, that's kind of how Gangplank goes in the early games. You just want to farm. You just want to get big in that sense. You don't really want to do a hell of a whole lot else because you really can't do a hell of a whole lot else as your barrels take so long, your powder kegs, they take lo so long to set up. And there are ways to work around that to be really strong, but it's really tricky. And look at the way the wave is actually pushing. I was thinking I wanted to wait for the siege, but the siege is not taking aggro. So I'm going to go back, actually, after getting this minion. I'll go back, and then I'll TP back in to get this minion wave. So yeah, 22 to her 12. We're definitely in the lead there. Hopefully, I really doesn't catch on to the fact that I'm in this brush. Looks like she won't. Very nice. 
So yeah, we'll just get our components here for our phage. Because I do want to build that first into our Triforce. And we are going to miss the Siege. After all that calculating I did to make sure I didn't miss it, I still miss it in the end. Man, I suck. But that's okay. We're playing the PBE here. You're, you're allowed to suck on the PBE. Because the average player base on the PBE is a lot worse than what I'm used to in my normal games. Believe it or not. I'm hoping to get as many of these minions as I can, but we'll see how many we actually, in fact, will get. Alright, so we miss a lot of them, but we still have double the farm of Aurelia. It's almost six minutes here, 30 minions. It could be a lot better, but it could be so, so, so much worse. Let's get that last hit there, level five. You do want to max the Q first on Gangplank, as it does provide you with your most consistent and strong damage source. You can see there are a lot of the damage. And now that we have got a few levels as well, I'm going to start placing my barrels in the brush. This is what I like to do in top lane Gangplank is place my barrels in the brush like this, as what you can do with it is if your opponent comes close enough to it, you can set up a second barrel, or even maybe three, and actually a lot of people around Shivana right now wonder if she's safe. Looks like she's actually maybe getting a kill here on Aurelian Soul. But yeah, you can set up a barrel like this and pop it like that, and of course, I really is going to dodge it because she went into the fight like that, but if she didn't, she would have taken a lot of hurt, so something to keep in mind. So where, where is she going to do? 23 to my 37. Yeah, like, I'm pretty comfortable in this lane, just not really doing a hell of a whole lot. Actually, let's fight her here, because Shivana's on one side, I'm on the other. Unfortunately, my barrel takes so long to proc. It's such a nuisance. But we can just keep chasing her like this and do damage. Shivana's got the slow. I got the auto attacks. Right, I'm going to let Shivana get one more in, then I'm going to finish her off with the, barrel, with the uh, parlay. Nice. Nice job. Yeah, super, super awkward, I know. A lot of you are like, wow, this is like the most, like, awkward game to watch because you're messing up all your barrels. But it will get better as my barrels get stronger and have a shorter recharge time. Or actually, I should say recharge time. Shorter charge down time. Because kind of how I see it, like, they kind of diminish in HP a little bit more quickly as the game progresses, as you get more points in the spell. And that's when you can really set up some nice combos with Gangplank. Because before that, I mean, look at this. I have to wait for so long before these barrels are explodable. And that's really obnoxious. But it is good for balance reasons, otherwise Gangplank would be super, super OP. He's pretty strong as is. So get a lot of these. Uh, one thing to keep in mind when you're playing Gangplank as well is you want to last hit a lot with your Q in an attempt to get as many Silver, silver Serpents as you can. So right there, for example, I got an extra couple. I'm going to add it to my total. And I really is going to come into the wave here a little bit. I'm going to just do this. But yeah, when you hit a barrel with your Q, and actually she's taking on some damage here because she's in the mini wave. Can we get a nice Q on her? Yes, we can. Very nice. But yeah, so like you only can hit one target with your parlay. And that's one problem with getting a lot of Silver Serpents with Gangplanks. You only can hit one. But if you place a barrel, a powder keg, right? And then you explode that. If that explosion kills many of them, you can get Silver Serpents if you shoot the barrel. If you auto-attack it, you won't. But if you shoot the barrel, you'll actually get the Silver Serpents. So that's a really good combo you can do. And I should... I kind of want to wait for this, but I also really don't want to. I'm going to do instead, I'm going to undo this, I'm going to buy the sheen and boots. This is a good way to go for me. I like this a lot better. Because I don't really need the phage, I just really need the sheen for the cooldown reduction, the extra mana, and that extra spellblade effect. That spellblade effect is so, so, so powerful. So while we're just walking back to lane here, guys, I did mention, of course, the RP giveaway and how you guys can be a part of that. The next thing I want to mention in today's video is subtitles. So a big part of my videos is my commentary, of course. And a lot of people like my commentary because I talk a lot about different things. But the thing is, I also do talk a lot. And with that, a lot of people can't really keep up because they don't speak English as a first language and stuff. And so with that, what I've been finding really successful is actually uh, try to get subtitles set up for my videos. So let's go ahead and just kill the Irelia here. See you later. I could have used my ultimate there, but I knew I wouldn't need it. And now we can just sustain back up and possibly use our ult elsewhere. Uh, maybe bot lane. This looks like a good opportunity. Let's go ahead and do exactly that. The ult coming in. Is Twitch going to die? Not quite, it looks like, but we definitely did help. And I missed the siege in exchange for helping. Whoops. It's okay. But I can already tell that our barrels are becoming quicker to charge down like that and be used like that. Okay, pop our last corruption potion. Let's get a patrol ward in here. There is no ward belonging to Irelia. And it looks like actually bot lane did both die. Wow, despite the fact I helped them, they both died. That's really brutal. Let's go ahead and just kill some of these minions though and get them nice and low. Use that. You can see a few extra silver serpents come in as we killed multiple targets there instead of just one. Okay, 200, 71 CS, 10 minutes. We have a very sloppy game on our hands here, guys. We're making a lot of mistakes, but in the very end, we're still doing okay. And I think as the game progresses, we're going to do even better and better. But yeah, so I want to talk about subtitles a little bit. And what I mean by bringing this up 
is I want to expand my viewer base as much as possible. I mean, obviously that comes with any YouTube channel. And I think one of the better ways to do that is I like my commentary style because I get a lot of information across and a lot of people like that. And I don't want to change that. And I really, are you really at this again? Really? Really? Okay, I'm going to cleanse that, cleanse that stun. And do you really think this is a good idea, friend? Can we chase her? I think we'll have another parlay here soon enough. We will. See you later. Nice job. Okay. Getting the solo kill for ourselves there. And actually, the rest of their team's here. So let's just run on away. Because I don't want to deal with the Zir. And actually, Aurelian Soul's here. And Shivana's getting pretty low. I kind of want to see if we can kill Aurelian Soul, but I don't think he can. Or we can, sorry. As he's pretty far away already. I'm trying to point in that Q there. Get this minion. And I think Azir's actually staying. I'm not sure if that's a good idea for your friend. I mean, he's just letting me wail on him here with these parlays. I wonder if he's going to keep giving me opportunities to do that. Yeah, take another bolt to the face. Why don't you? All right, do that. So yeah, to expand my viewer base, I think it's a really good idea to set up subtitles on my videos. So if you guys were to go back and look through uh, some of my previous videos that I've posted with a face cam, I have added subtitles to them as I think it's a really good way to expand my viewer base because a lot of people just can't keep up with how I speak in English. And if they speak English, they can pretty much keep up. But if they don't, they get really confused really quick because they just don't know what I'm saying. And so having subtitles there is really great because I don't know about you guys, but personally, when I'm watching like a show on Netflix, for example, and actually it really is doing a lot of damage to me here. Can I get away? I'm thinking probably. Yes. Nice. Uh, but yeah, like when I'm watching a TV show on Netflix, even if it's a, like completely in English, I like having subtitles because the way my mind works, and I don't know, maybe you guys can relate to this. I can listen to somebody speak, but I have to focus pretty damn hard to follow with what they're saying unless I can see it. And so if I can read the text of what they're saying, I can follow along with the plot and everything a lot more easily. So that's why it is I'm thinking it'd be a really good idea is because I think having subtitles in my videos, not like built into the video, it wouldn't be forced upon you. It'd be a YouTube setting you could turn on and off. I think it'd be really great because then those people who would benefit from it can turn it on and can benefit from it because they'd be able to follow along with what I'm saying. Even if they don't speak English fluently, they'd be able to read it and it'd be a way for them to learn English. And for those people who don't want it, they don't have to have it because it's, it's, you know, it's an option. And I think that'd be really great. You can see you're getting a lot of Silver Serpents built up. We're at 12, almost 13 minutes here. And I want to aim for having 500 Silver Serpents by 15 minutes. I'm gonna set that benchmark for myself and I'm thinking I can probably do it if I just focus on it. So there you go, another, ooh, missed one actually. You keep setting up those barrels. And get that, boom, all right. We can also afford our Triforce now as well, which will be a huge item for us. You wanna rush that Triforce on Gangplank first as it gives you pretty much all the essential stats you want. It gives you some HP, some attack damage, some attack speed. Uh, I think it gives some crit, but maybe it's a cool reduction they changed it to. Let's go ahead and cleanse that. So one really good thing about this matchup for me against Irelia is I do have the remove scurvy to remove her stun or slow, depending upon which one she uses. It's a stun or a slow depending upon how my HP percentage is. So if I have more per HP than her, percentage-wise, it's a slow. Sorry, actually, the other way around. If I have more HP than her, it's a stun. And if she has more HP than me, it's a slow. And let's go ahead and get these two with that chain reaction. Or maybe just one, because I suck. Yeah, I'm just looking to push this wave in and maybe dive her, because we have Shivana here on the side. And I'm thinking if we get this pushed in, we'll be able to do that. Almost strong to the back wave. I think once we have Triforce, we'll be good enough. All right, and we have Shivana with us. Is Shivana tanky? Oh, really? And Soul's here, though. Oh, here we go. I'm on the way. Oh, man, that Shivana is just ripping them a new one. And there's the double kill, actually. Holy crap, Shivana is powerful. But you guys already knew that. You guys saw my Shivana video. If you haven't, check that one out, because it goes to show you exactly what this guy's doing here, how strong Shivana is in this patch. And they actually made her more powerful, I think, more recently, because they buffed Fervor of Battle, which is what she's running. So, yeah, there you go. And this, I think, will be the first tower of the game. It will. There we go. Look at that bonus gold. 400 for our team. That is massive. Now, let's go ahead here and continue to push the wave. I'm going to try and get this nice and low. Uh, hopefully, the minions don't all leave the range. All right, well, let's just do that then. And there we go. Nice little bit of a blast. Not going to kill them all with our, our barrels, but... Okay, and I'm sorry I keep saying barrels instead of powder keg. It's just powder keg's a mouthful, and I like to say uh, barrels instead because I'm I'm used to that for some reason. I guess I maybe it's because of all the champions with barrels like Gragas and stuff. Yeah, I'm very familiar with Gragas. I played him very many times. 
So let's go back here. Got ourselves a Triforce now. We're also going to get ourselves a BF Sword towards that Infinity Edge. And that'll be really good for us. And our Control Word is still active, so I'll have to get a new one. And yeah, Infinity Edge is really what you want next. Because as I said earlier, Triforce... I mean, look at these stats. It's basically what you want on Gangplank. Just a lot of it. And the passives are Amazing Rage and Spellblade. Definitely want those. And it looks like Shivana getting another kill there onto the Azir. Good job. And what's going on bot lane here? I kind of want to ult the wave here, but not yet. I want to do it in a way that helps Vayne maybe get some kills. But I don't think that's going to happen because the tower is going to die before Thresh is there. So maybe I'll just hold on to it for the time being. And yeah, the Infinity Edge, just a ton of AD, extra crit chance, and extra crit damage as well. Now let's go ahead and ult here. I think this might be a good time. You know what? Now that I think about it, it probably wasn't. Because Twitch went stealth right as I ulted, and that completely negated really how powerful my ult could have been there. It's okay, though. Let's just... Actually, someone's TP'd in here. I think it's Azir. So I'll go ahead and... Ooh, I was hoping to hit the barrel on him there. And is he gonna try and kill me here? Oh, he got rid of my barrel. He messed up all of them. Damn. The first one I missed him with. The second one I tried to line up and he actually killed it before I could do anything with it. That's okay. I'll just shoot him in the butt. And use my barrel here again. Got him. Yeah, he didn't expect that. Just flash on top of him, murder him like that. Easy kill. Yeah, their Azir's not very good though. Honestly, he, I think he made a lot of mistakes in that one that he could have taken advantage of. Like, he didn't use his ultimate. I don't know if he didn't have it or something like that, but he could have ulted me when he was close to me into that turret, actually. There was a lineup for that, and he just, you know, let it slide. No, I think we can fight this out, really, as long as our minions help us. We keep that ward in the brush, make sure my minions can see what's going on. Get that barrel going. Ooh, there it is! See you later, Irelia. We got the kills, we got the jukes, we got the plays. Let's do it up. Okay, 134 minions here. It's a her 71. We are basically doubling her CS at this point. Go ahead and push up this mini wave some more. And like I said earlier, guys, once the barrels get to a point where you can just go like this and pop them constantly, this is what I'm good at gangplank. Or not good, but a lot better. In the early game, it's just so awkward. It's like, hey, like this thing's, I can place a barrel, but it just sits there with the full HP and I can't do anything with it. It's super annoying. But now that these things die pretty quick and I can use my other shots on them pretty easily, it's nice. All right, so what's gonna happen here? All right, that didn't die faster than I, th <laughs> sorry. It didn't die as fast as I thought it might, but we can still shoot this guy up a bit. <clears throat> oh, hello. Oh, I almost hit my barrel there. Is the ult gonna get him? Ooh, not quite. Yeah, Twitch was a surprise presence on that one. I was not expecting him, but I was hoping that I could place my barrel next to him, do some damage to him, and then hit my barrel to finish him off. I failed to do so, but I think in that situation, it's the best I could have done. But now we have ourselves an extra pickaxe, and our team got ourselves a turret too. Nice. Uh, we could get the cooldown boots. We could also get the cloak of agility. I'm thinking cooldown boots will actually go a lot further for us as they'll give us more CDR and uh, reduce CD on our, cool on our spells as well, our summoner spells. The extra crit chance would work towards our infinity edge, but we can't finish the infinity edge anyways. And 20% crit doesn't really do a hell of a whole lot unless you have the infinity edge. So I'm not really worried about it. So let's just return back here to, I think, the top lane. Maybe mid lane, actually. I'm, not, I'm just trying to figure out what to do here, because all the lanes are pressured. We're winning on all fronts. With Gangplank, you really just want to go over this farm. That's really what it comes down to. And remember when I said earlier that I wanted to get 500 Silver Serpents by 15 minutes? Yeah. I kind of forgot about that up until this very second. And Azir Pliss. Alright, go ahead and clear this up, and there we go. Got ourselves the 500. The 500. It only took 19 minutes. Definitely a lot slower than it should have been. It could have been so much better if we were just focused and not bad at this game, but we still made it happen in the end. And that's what counts. And that was out of range. Whoops. Let's just go bottom here. Looks like a fight's going down, and Siobhan is really strong, and she's there. So when she's there, you know it should be a fight that we can win as long as we join her. It looks like it is going well for our team so far. Let's go ahead and just finish off. Ooh, never mind. I was going to try and finish him off with the parlay, but he is going to go down by the hand of Vayne. And Blitzcrank's going to hook me into the tower here, though, but I'll just walk away. I probably should use my move Scurvy a little bit later, actually. I'm going to use the barrels. Ooh. This is not looking good. Uh, Fresh? Yeah, I'm sorry, friend. I can't save you. But he got executed, so it's not so bad. But yeah, I, I missed the barrels there. Blitzcrank did flash away. All right, well, we got Blitzcrank with this one, though. Yeah. I think using my ult there was overkill, but I really wanted to be able to just ult and walk away. Do a bit of a drive-by effect like you can with Zed. But instead, he gave me the opportunity just to auto-attack him, so I just did that instead. But there we go. Got ourselves a kill in the Blitzcrank, and got ourselves this turret as well. And actually, Aurelian Soul's coming in here. I think we can turn this, though. But I've missed my barrels. 
It's okay, though. We can still do the damage. Yeah, he's just so weak compared to us. We can just auto-attack him to death with a few parlays to the back. Nice. All right, kill those minions there. And what else can we do? Twitch is here. Oh, he destroyed one of my barrels. If he didn't destroy that barrel, I might have been able to get him. Because the barrels do also slow. So once you hit them, you can chase them down with some auto attacks. Alright, but here we go. We found him. The parlay to finish him off. Yep. See you later, Twitch. Got ourselves that revenge kill because he did kill us earlier on. And get ourselves the double. The barrel explosion chain reaction is going to get the Blitzcrank. Alright, gotta love Soul Jungle. You know, Aurelian Soul Jungle is not that bad, so I don't know if he's complaining about it or if he's actually serious saying he's gotta love it, but I think he's complaining. And frankly, it's not the jungler's fault that you're bad at his ear. No, just kidding. <laughs> but yeah, this is not having the best game. Maybe he's not bad at his ear, maybe he's just having some rough luck, but I, I feel like he is kind of bad. Like that play right there, I don't, I don't know. It looked like he'd used his dash, but I'm not sure. Then again, though, who am I to talk? I'm a terrible Gangplank player. I'm just having a good game. And... Okay, game. Okay, Zir. <laughs> we'll just finish you off with the barrel. Like, okay. I think that proves my point. This guy's not that good at Azir. He just went for a 4v1. He's really tilted, if not just really bad or something. But that's not the focus of today's game. The focus of today's game is Gangplank and how we're playing. So let's get ourselves at Infinity Edge. Let's work towards our next item, which I think will be the Shiv. We'll get that, the Zeal, the Dagger. All right, and our team is fighting here, but I think they're okay. And there's a Fat Wave top lane, and I am making a mistake. I have not bought an my upgrade for my ultimate. I'll do that soon. It doesn't really matter when you do it, in all seriousness, like, you want to get the benefits as soon as possible, of course, but, like, I'm not going to miss out on anything by not having it yet, if that makes sense, and I should have used my parlay on that. But, yeah, like, I'm not going to lose out on anything by not doing it yet, it's just I don't have it yet, so I'm not as strong as I could be at this very moment, if that makes sense. I think it makes sense. See, so yeah, I'll just get some more Silver Serpents. Maybe I'll buy two upgrades and one back. Maybe that's what I'll do. That'll be fun. All right, let's just get the wave all built up here. And look at that wave clear. Mmm, I love it when you can kill the, the melee minions with your barrels. Because normally you only can get the mage ones, but if you get to be strong enough, like I am this game, you get to be strong enough to do it. Oh, I was hoping to do some damage there. Not quite going to land. And we get the ward. Ooh, not quite. I mean, I really with that. Ooh, look at that damage. All right, can we go for it? I think I really souls down. Yes, he is. Nice. Yeah, as Gangplank, man, if you get a little bit fed, you can go off and do some insane damage. It's going to finish that turret off. And what else can we find? Found Blitzcrank. He might hook us. Yes, he will. Let's flash out before he kills us. And uh-oh, found their team. They are definitely going to murder us. Twitch and Azir with the flank there. Really good play by them to pick us off with that Blitzcrank hook, setting it up. And Vigar's on the run here from Twitch. It's looking like Twitch is a little bit faster. So, yep, the Expunge will take him out. Or is it called Contaminate? I remember they changed that, but I hope it's Expunged, because it's a way cooler name. Shivana on the run here. The tower doesn't slow anymore, so maybe she can get out. It's looking like she, it's looking like she won't, unfortunately. But we got ourselves the Shiv now. Let's go ahead and fix that mistake and get ourselves... Uh, let's see. Make it the center? Okay. So this one's pretty strong, but this one also makes it so you shoot faster. I think Death's Daughter's the best, but I'm not sure. I'll go ahead and ask you guys that, though. In the comments, please answer for me alongside the other thing I asked you to comment about. Please let me know. Is Death's Daughter the best? Or is Fire at Will the best? I know Razor Morale is more supportive, so it's not, like, damage-wise. But as far as damage goes, is Death's Daughter or Fire at Will better? I feel like Death's Daughter is if you can aim your ult better. But if you're just kind of tossing it out like I normally do and not really thinking about it because you're bad like me, then I think the other one's better because it shoots so many more shots. Oh well, though. Let's go ahead and just clear up the entire wave with one barrel. That wave clear is so powerful. I love it. Gangplank, you are so fun. You're just kind of boring in the early game, but once you get those barrels to the point where you can just pop minion waves, it's great. Let's go ahead and walk mid here. Our team is going to set up a fight. I think if I pop my ult here, we can help out. And that Death's Daughter is doing some nice damage. And, oh god, really is on us. I did not pay attention to that. You know what? It's fine, though. We've got our team with us, and they're going to finish her off. No, no, they are not. It's going to be us. Very nice. And Blitzcrank's on the run, but Blitzcrank is taking so much damage from that vein. Those silver bolts, one more shot. She's not going to go for it. Oh god, Twitch, please. I may be at the backs of this, but Twitch has got really good range with his ult, so i got to be so careful when he goes into his ult like that. That spray and pray. And let's go ahead and pop our roof scurvy again, get some extra HP. And finish somebody off. Yep, see you later, Aurelian Soul. And now, can we get Blitzcrank? It's looking like a no. 
We'll go ahead and clear the wave up a little bit, though. Uh, one mechanic I want to show at some point in this game that I'm just really bad at, but I know is a mechanic you can do with Blitz, with a uh, Gangplank, is you can place a barrel, shoot it, then place another one as you're doing it, and that mechanic will allow you to actually have two go off if you do it in the right order and you do it quick enough. I'm really bad at it, as you saw, but it's a mechanic you can do. Yeah, see, I messed it up there again. Some people can do it, though, like pro players. I can't do it because I'm bad. But a lot of players you'll see in like LCS, they'll place a barrel, shoot it, and then place a barrel right next to it. That will, and that second barrel they place will do damage before the opponents even know it hit them. And it's crazy how powerful that can be. I prefer just to place them both side, uh, one at a time, and then shoot it because I'm bad and I often miss things. And Aurelian Soul going ham here. Let's go ahead and just shoot him and do a lot of damage. He's gonna get nice and low. Let's go ahead and pursue the Aurelian next. She's gonna go down by our hand. Nice. Destroy that barrel. Let's pop our alt here to pursue the Blitzcrank. Bane should get those silver bolts off. Yes, she will, and that will be the kill there. Nice job. Let's go and equip the minion wave here. Almost 500 silver serpents, only at 400 though. And there we go, there's the inhib tower. The inhibitor itself will be taken as we speak. Okay, and next from here, I think pushing top is our next best motive because we could push down mid lane some more, but their team is respawning and Twitch is alive, and Twitch is pretty strong. He's quite a nuisance to deal with for this game. So let's just return back to the top lane, get ourselves some more silver serpents and maybe buy the next upgrade. So there we go, there's that wave. I wonder how easily we can take the Krugs out. We can't quite one-hit the little one, but like, we still did a lot of its HP. I'm just looking to get as many Silver Serpents as possible, right? And this is a pretty good way to do it. At least I think so. <laughs> I like I'm just dancing around this constantly just doing the same thing over and over again. And boom, there we go. 500 silver serpents. Wasn't too hard to do either. And use our Rubus to heal ourselves up a little bit. And if she comes during these minions, she's going to have a bad time with it. So let's go ahead and clip a few of those. Do some nice auto attacks to her butt. I mean, she is running that frost butt skin. She's going to have to expect us to touch it a little bit. And missing her with that, unfortunately. Azir is here, though. And he... Miss the wall. Here, just take a few spells to the butt. Oh, can we get away? Please. Oh, not quite. Vigar, you should have ulted sooner, friend. You could have saved me. Nah, it's okay. It's okay. We needed to die anyways, because now he dies to twitch his hand. That's karma for you, Vigar. You should have saved me. <laughs> no, I'm kidding, of course. He did his best, I'm sure. Let's get ourselves that, what is it? Fire at will. Good stuff there. And I want to get another item, but I'm not sure what that will be. I want to get Ghostblade, but the thing with Ghostblade is it gives us more CDR that we just don't need. Essence Reaper, same thing. Last Whisper sounds like fun. But I want more damage. What would give you the most damage possible? <laughs> what would give us the most damage? We could go with a Bloodthirster. That would be fun. That would be super fun. Yeah, Rage Blade wouldn't be any good. Death Stance, don't need that. Titanic Hydra, probably not. I'm really feeling the Bloodthirster. I think Dustblade could also be pretty good. But it's not really a gangplank esque item, if that makes sense. Yeah, let's go with the Bloodthirster. I'm feeling the Bloodthirster this game. This could be fun. And I think we'll finish off our build with GA. A lot of people like to get the Phantom Dancer after their Shiv. I don't really feel like it's necessary with Gangplank. I like to get a little, life, a little bit of lifesteal and survivability. So I think this Bloodthirster is going to be dope for us. And also, our team got the Baron there, so nice job to them. So let's just run down bot lane here. And see if we can find that Azir, because we saw him farming earlier, and hello! Get that nice shot on him, and look at that damage we do. Let's go ahead and just alt, and see if we can pursue this guy. I mean, nice play, bud, but like, you still don't stand a chance, because I got flash as well. If I didn't have flash there, though, that probably would have been the best play he could have done to set up himself for success, but I have flash, so I just pursued him, but without it, I think he might have actually had a chance. Might have. It's okay, though. He's got himself a turret set up, and that looks pretty dope with that skin. I do like the way this looks. Let's go ahead and just take it out. There we go, some extra bit of gold for us. Clear up the minion wave. Get ourselves a siege as well. Look at that, 248 minions. We are so powerful. Go ahead and do that. All right, level 18. Very nice. And Twitch is here. Maybe can we catch him? We got Thresh with us. But Blitzcrank's here. He's probably gonna try and hook us. So we gotta be careful. But we do have Siobhan and Thresh with us. So if we do get hooked. Ooh, the Thresh, the Thresh plays. Holy shit. That was so good. All right, I'm missing everything, of course. But don't worry, I'll KS. I'll KS, because <laughs> that's what I'm best at, apparently, this game. 17 kills, probably all kill steals. That's just how we roll. All right, and it looks like we're not even getting the assist on Azir. We don't need the assist, though. We already got five. That's all we need. 
And that's probably gonna be game here. Aurelian Soul's top lane doing some shenanigans. He can just clear up the minion waves here with those barrels. Holy crap, our wave clear is powerful. And oh, hello. Alright, goodbye. <laughs> I was hoping to maybe get a crit with that parlay, finish him off, but that's okay. We didn't have damage to get the assist. And there we go. That is the game here today, guys. Hopefully you guys liked it. If you did, make sure to drop that like rating. It helps with the channel so, so very much. I would really appreciate it. And of course, guys, if you're curious at all about the giveaway, definitely make sure to check out the description. The description will have an explanation there. And uh, that's it here, guys. I hope you guys liked it. Subscribe for more. And uh, I guess you could follow me on my social media stuff, Facebook, Twitter. I don't really use Twitch, but it's in the link. The link for that is in the description as well. And Instagram as well. If you guys are into fitness, I'm going to be posting Instagram uh, fitness content as well. So maybe check that out. And that is all. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out. Thank you.